killing insects so mostly the little kerosene then order it to be very effective under it to work faster then I drank it Today we're gonna to be doing a story time. Okay, I'm gonna be telling you guys the story um, on how I attempted suicide, like yeah, whatever, whatever. Okay, first of all, if you're new, hit the subscribe button and join the here. Type post notification on to get updates when your kid uploads a new video and interact with me on all social platforms, which will be on the screen and the description down below. And it's also at my intro. Okay. Um, yeah, don't forget to give this video a huge cute thumbs up, drop video ad video ideas, video requests, and I told you guys to send me Q&A questions, so please drop it at the comment section. Okay, having done that, let's head right to this video. First of all, first of all, what made me want to commit suicide? I felt so depressed. This depression, it's, it's just depression. So. Yeah, I felt depressed and I wanted to die. Okay, I was, I think, I was 10 years old. Then, yeah. Oh, I was 11 years old. I was 11 years old because I was in just 2 so in junior school or something. So, I came back from school and I did a boarding school though. It was, we were on meet and break. So, I came back from school that day and like hey I'm back I'm back my mates were back everybody was back wanted to play with my mates wanted to interact with people wanted to play but my kind of my life is weird though but I'm not gonna go into full details on my life but just gonna tell you guys I just came back that morning they were like Stella don't step outside go inside don't go it's like why I, I felt depressed I went inside the house I stayed crying and yeah, I wrote the letter. I dropped the letter. I was like, I, I poured my mind on that letter. I was actually the truth is the person I'm staying with when I come back is not my mom, like, it's not my biological family. But the real person I'm staying with, it doesn't matter with me, is. One psycho, yeah, he's a psycho. He wants to, you know, press me. And I was, I was a girl, that too. Did the freak with me the next day. I don't want to say it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So he tried that countless times. And I was alone inside. He wanted to try that again on me. I was like. They're crying, you know. it made me so moody. They insulted me, they insulted me, you're stupid, you're ugly, you're fat, blah 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 blah. I had very low self confidence, and yeah. So I was like, I wrote the letters, I told, I wrote everything in that letter, and I took the it's it's um. It's stuff it, an insecticide because it's for killing insects. So mostly the little kerosene. Then order it to be very effective, order it to work faster. Then I drank it. Drank it. I still having stomach pain. Having stomach pain, I didn't shout because I don't want people to come in. And but I was crying because I was having serious stomach pain. I don't want people to come in and save me. I wanted to die. Like I really wanted to die, but I can't imagine. Assuming I've died, oh my god, this cute girl would have died. Oh my god. Okay, I wanted to die. Like for real, I wanted to die. I was tired of the world. I was, you know, things weren't working as I imagined. So I wanted to die. Yeah. So. Okay, where did I stop? Okay, 
Yeah, so I wanted to die so much. Unfortunately, the annoying part of the whole story is that no one was at home that day, but it was this same stupid guy I was talking about that came into the house and saw me and was like, oh my god, what have you done, blah blah blah, like he cared, I know he doesn't care, I know he hates me, but either way, I'm forgiving you, it's in the past, no, I'm grown up, like, I'm cute, either way, so, <laughs> what am I doing, I have to do this, so, yeah, he, he was like, he tried to help me, I was becoming weak, I was becoming weak, then he gave me palm oil, yeah, palm oil works really fast for poisoning, in case you, if you're poisoning or you're poisoning the food, first thing you should take is palm oil, because it's really, I would have died, no, I, I might not have died, but I don't know, I don't know what happened that day, if not for God intervention, because that it, it was two, two hours into that, I would have died, I would have died in, and be cold, like, you know, yeah. And I wanted to use um, a rope to hang myself in the sling, but I couldn't find a strong rope. The first rope I wanted to use cut. <laughs> I couldn't find a strong rope because I was kind of heavy. So yeah, I couldn't find a strong rope that could hold me. And it was I was kind of scared. So I wanted to die, but I didn't want to die. I don't want to die painfully, <coughs> like stabbing myself or or using using a rope to something that will see myself dying before I die. That was why I used that food poisoning. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't. Like, I totally regret it. But after then, I didn't regret it because I wanted to do it so much. But please, if you're suffering depression out there, just look for one person to talk to. There's always that person that understands you. Talk to that person. What I liked then was love. I didn't have no one loves me. Even till now, I still find it difficult to believe someone loves me. Apart from my sweet boyfriend, I know he loves me so much. So, yeah, whatever. So, and my family loves me, but I don't really. I know they love me, but I don't really feel it. You understand? I don't. I don't feel love. But I know they love me, and I love my mom. I know my mom loves me so much. So, yeah. Though she doesn't say it, she be. But I know she loves me, even though she doesn't tell me and she doesn't say. But listen, parents out there, you should let your kids know you love them. Let your kids know you love them because what made me want to know that was love. I lack love. I suffered a lot in my life due to lack of love, lack of trust. I don't have anybody to talk to. I don't have people that trust me or people I trust, people to tell my problems to. Assuming I had someone that could have voiced out that guy molesting me, I think I wouldn't have ever had a lot of, um, what is it called, taken that stuff I did doing that I wouldn't have thought of it though I've been uh, a very fast um, very fast what is it called maybe solution to my problem but there was no solution and I did it my own way I was a teenager so whatever okay maybe not yet a teenager but I grew up very fast my brain grew up than my age I'm literally 18 going to 19 as you can see I'm popping so if you notice I grew up my age so yeah, you guys should learn to talk to your kids, especially the female ones. They suffer depression a lot. 99% of kids, female kids, let me know. The male don't care. 99% of female kids now are suffering depression. They are because they lack love. They love. They lack care. As women had gotten care and love, I wouldn't have attempted. And you know the worst part? That wasn't the first time. That wasn't the second time. I kept on thinking it in my head. Daddy, I finally did it, and I did it again. Yeah, I did it again in school. You know, in school, in boarding school, I did it. And this one was my best friend who saw me. She was like, "Why do you want to do this?" Well, no one knew about this one. Even that one, I think it was just between me and that. Whatever. It was just me and that guy, or whatever. So this was my my best friend, the one who saw me. Stella, what are you doing? Don't do that. You, you, you. She's shout out to Miracle wherever you are. You're a best friend. Like, you're a very good friend. Because I would have died. Like that was the one time I felt I had a real true friend. I cried. She cried with me. Like, like, like 
so yeah whatever but i'm going to end this video here it's kind of really long but yeah this is how i added this so like, and what caused it is depression lack of love lack of care Share your kids out there care, share your sisters care, share your friends care, share your friends in care, show them love, you know, you understand, so, yeah, um, I'm going to be doing another story time, I'm going to be doing another story time, and be more frequent one, I just want to do this one, I want to let it in chest, and I'm going to do a story time on how I got scars, I got a lot of scars, but the permanent ones. Yeah, you all should not forget to drop q and a. I I want to do a q and a like so bad. I want to do a q and a. But don't you guys want to know who I am? No one knows stuff about me. I know you guys will be so drop me q and a questions right now. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and join the queue list. Like, join the queue list. Don't you want to be cute? I know you're cute, but join the queue list. Like, we are here at queue list. Don't forget to give this video a huge big thumbs up and drop me on all social platforms which will be on the screen. I've said that already earlier, but whatever. Like, comment, and whatever you like. Stay tuned to keep kids. Love you.